Variables in statistics are slightly different than what you're used to from algebra. A statistics variable is any attribute of the population that can be observed or measured. And this is going to include both numeric attributes like volume and non-numeric attributes like color or gender. So think about patients in a medical office or a hospital. What are some of the variables that are associated with those patients? Well, uh, there, are, there are obviously a practically unlimited number of possibilities here, but I want to th think about this just so you can get an, an idea of what we're talking about. All right, so one possibility, uh, for example, would be heart rate. That's a numeric variable, right, that a doctor or a nurse could measure. Uh, so let's see, um, gender is another possibility. That isn't a numeric variable, but as I pointed out on the last slide, right, in statistics, that's okay. Gender isn't something we can measure, but it is something that we can observe. So what, what else can we do? Blood pressure. Blood pressure is a measurement, but it's also you know, a slightly tricky one. Blood pressures are usually given with two values, the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure. So th this is an attribute that describes a member of our population, so it is a variable. But as you'll see later, classifying it uh, can be a little challenging because of its composite nature. Now, how about things that aren't variables? Well, the patients themselves don't fit into this category. I'll sometimes hear students, you know, when asked to define a variable, say something like, well, the patient's on my floor. Okay, the patients themselves are the members of the population, not the variables. So to see the difference, uh, think about, you know, your first visit to a doctor's office. You're, you're given a form, usually several forms, on a clipboard and the first one asks for a lot of personal information. Now, the individual items you're asked for, like name, address, and gender, those are all going to be variables. Right, so thinking, for example, about the gender variable, male or female, also wouldn't be variables, all right? Um, again, thinking about the intake form, the variables are the things you're being asked for. The values are the answer that you're filling in. So male and female here would be values of the gender variable, right? Another thing that, that I wouldn't classify as a variable would, would be kind of a broad statement like lab results. Again, again kind of think about a form being filled out. What are you gonna put for lab results? Well, it's too open-ended. You need to be more specific. What lab? Right, we're talking about cholesterol levels or blood oxygen or uh, sugar levels. You see, those would be variables, but now I've narrowed it down to an individual item, an individual measurement that I can assign a single numeric value. Okay, so let, let me give you an example. Now, let's say, let's say we have a uh, city planning commission that's looking at the effectiveness of stoplights. So, uh, for example, to determine if any changes need to be made, they need to monitor wait times at selected lights throughout the city. So see if you can come up with some variables that you think would apply to this situation. Remember, that you're thinking about things that can be observed or measured. Okay, so the lights or the intersections have a, have a lot of different attributes, but we want to stay focused just on the ones that are going to impact wait times. So one characteristic that's important to study is the location of the intersections, right? That is, which street crossings are we evaluating? I would also want to know the time of day. Since traffic patterns uh, change, right? Uh, the patterns in the middle of the afternoon are going to be different from patterns early in the morning. And I would also actually want to know 
the wait times. Now, keep in mind that that's different from the length of time the lights are red. If the light is red and no one is at the intersection, that's different from when the light is red and there are cars actually waiting to go. Okay, so what, what are some of the values of these variables? Well, values of examples of the location variable would be um, first street and main, right? Where we're talking about intersections, so you're, you're gonna have to give two streets, one street in the street that crosses it. Time of day would be things like 1 p.m. versus 1 a.m. And wait, wait times are going to be numbers, right? Two minutes. You notice I'm, I'm including units here. Two minutes. These can be decimals, right? Could be 3.5 minutes. Again, I, I'm also thinking in terms of units, right? We, we want to be sure um, that, that we're being consistent. Probably not so much a concern here, but in some situations, you know, you, you might have some events that are really short and some that are really long. So you need to distinguish between minutes versus hours, for example. Okay, so what's next? Um, now, now that we, we know what variables are, we're, we're going to spend the next several lectures looking at different ways to, to uh, label and classify variables, right? And these classifications uh, are going to help to tell us what sort of what sort of things what sort of calculations we can do with them